Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at the AI4 conference and look who I have with me, Jeff Mills uh, from iMerit. Jeff, welcome to the Robert Show, long due. It's great to be here, thanks so much for making the time for us. I'm so excited to chat with you about AI, how the space is evolving, AI agents has been the talk of the town, mm -hmm. enterprise leaders are talking so much about AI. Uh, I want to talk about all of those things, but just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself and also tell us a little bit about iMerit. What do you guys do? Yeah, so I'm Jeff Mills. Uh, I'm the president here at, at iMerit. Uh, been at the company for almost a decade. The company's been nice. around for about 12 years. Uh, we've been a, a foundational partner in the ML operations ecosystem. Uh, we're nice. really known for doing data labeling, data annotation type of work. Uh, we started doing that big time in the j kind of mobility sector. Nice. doing a lot of image work, a lot of video work. Uh, that progressed into LiDAR work and things like that. Uh, we work with something like seven of the top um, mobility companies in the world. Um, nice. We work with like five of the top seven mag companies. Uh, and then uh, really got big into Gen AI over the last uh, couple years. We grew Gen AI about two and a half X last year. We'll grow it by about four X this year. Uh, we're a profitable company. I've uh, been profitable for over four years. And so in this space, when there's a lot of things coming and going, I think this is a time where trust is really important. And, so, and so partnering with companies who you know are going to be around for a while uh, and aren't trying to ne necessarily do like the next cutting edge thing, but actually do what their customers need today, that's something we take a lot of pride in. So true, this is great and thanks for sharing those insights. I'm kind of also curious, you mentioned about you know data labeling, annotation, uh, just on this part itself, uh, I know we are seeing a high wave of you know the profile, the high profile founders exiting AI. Mm. Uh, how does this affect the data annotation and data labeling space? What do you think? Yeah, I think this happens you know every few years in, in technology. We've seen it before, aqua hiring and these types of things. Uh, I think there's a talent grab and a, and a race you know right now in the ecosystem. Um, but I think right now it's it's one of those times where you have to really trust who you're working with. And I think you have to trust what companies you're going to um, go be an employee at, but also trust the, the companies that you're going to be a partner at. And right. uh, in this space, quality is going to always win. So we talk about speed, we talk about quality, but speed is quality. If the quality right. isn't there, then you can't have the speed, right? So um, I think really partnering with companies right now who you know have been doing this work and are going to continue to invest in the now and, and the Love quality it. of the work that needs to be done today yep. is really, really important and that's something, again, uh, we invest a lot in. That's fantastic. Uh, also with so many you know, major players uh, like Meta, Google, Microsoft, how should AI companies think about their trust, longevity in their partnerships? What's like the framework there? Is there something that they should be uh, putting on the roadmap that here are the five pillars that we should be uh, careful about? Yeah, I, I think again, quality is number one. Quality is um, number one. So speed is becoming a big piece right now. Everyone wants to be the first. Right. You know, there's a right. race going on. Right. But I think quality is always going to trump speed. Uh, if you're just racing, but you're racing the wrong direction, yeah. you're going to fall behind really quick. So I think quality is essential. Uh, and so as you look into this space, especially in Gen AI right now, yep. you look at the expertise curve that's happening right now, working with general crowds isn't going to get you the quality and the data you need to really jump to the next level. Right. So you have to find companies, we've launched Scholars uh, as part of our organization, uh, which is really working with like PhDs in mathematics, um, you know, coders, uh, people who are actually building models. Yep. You know, and when you start working with this type of expertise, you can start building data sets that really make a difference. So um, one of our customers uh, right now has us working on deep reasoning models. And so in that experience, we're going through and we're literally doing a 100% model failure rate. So we'll take like PhDs in mathematics, they'll come in, they'll write equations that the, the model can't actually process. We'll see what the different, you know, different reasoning tactics it took, and then these PhDs will come in and write where the reasoning went wrong, where it should have gone differently, and so then we're building data sets that go in, become the ground truth oh, wow. to these models while wow. building a way to figure out where you need to fine tune more. These are the types of techniques that are going to take companies to the next level. I love it. This is like the real people actually helping to build you the foundation and then you're taking it from there. So that's amazing. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, also, with, what makes iMerit different from the dozens of AI vendors on the market today? Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts about that? So, again, quality is going to, you're going to hear me keep yelling quality, yeah, quality, no, quality. It makes sense when you kind of you know, talk about AI. I, I hear a lot of enterprise leaders 
saying that, the data quality kind of plays a very important role and then we'll talk about AI. Right? Yeah, I mean, well, you can't build great AI without the great data. data quality, yeah. right? So yeah. if, if your model is only 70% effective, with the high stake models that we're building today in yep. medical AI, in mobility, these aren't areas where you can fail. These aren't areas where you can kind of get close. Yeah. These are areas where you have to be perfect, right? Yep. And so you need quality to hit a very different level. Totally. Um, so again, I would take the, the scholars work that we're doing, brings in these subject matter experts that take us to another level. We're also a technology company, right? So we're building the exactly. technology. Uh, we work with researchers, we have researchers. You know, I have a, uh, PhD in linguistics standing right over here uh, who works for me. I have a Stanford trained surgeon who reports to me, right? We're bringing in the top, top um, experts in the field to be able to work on this while building technology that enables our human in the loop to move faster in a secure environment. In fact, uh, we're bringing on a new CISO right now. There'll be an announcement on that shortly. Uh, so I, I should be careful what I say about can't that. Wait, but, but, wait. but you will see yeah. very quickly that we're bringing in talent that takes security and compliance to a very different level. That's awesome, and having, you know, obviously PhDs or researchers by, you know, we're kind of working not only just on the product, but what's happening in the space is very mm. important because they have a different insight into how they look at not only just AI, but the implications, how is it going to help the larger audience, right. how is it going to help the product, and how is it going to help the customers as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, another one for, you know, the companies, for companies building high stakes AI products, what's the risk of working with unstable partners? Uh, what can what can go wrong there? Look, I we go on a journey with our customer. All right, it's it's a journey. It's it's not just one data set, it's yep. not just one quick thing. It's a journey. And we work with our customers on, you know, literally the guidelines that are being created. If the guidelines aren't right, then you can't really build the right data sets. True. If the rubrics aren't right to score those, um, then you're not going to hit the quality levels that, that make sense. Uh, and so you really want to work with someone that you know is going to be around for the next five years, not right. just for the next right. five months. Yep. I think there's a lot of great work that's being done in this space right now. I think there's a lot of hype that's going on in this space right now that's super exciting. Exactly. We have customers right now who work with us because this, we are client obsessed. Yeah. We are just building hype technology. We're actually squashing the bugs and creating the features they need uh, in the tool sets that they're, that, that yeah. they're working on. Yeah. It may not be the sexiest thing some days, but it's actually what's needed to be done to take your company right now to the next level Customer with the first. data sets that you're creating today, right? Yeah, exactly. And so we really focus on that maniacal focus on our clients um, to make sure that we're building the technology, that we're building the right teams, that we're building the right systems to right. be able to scale not just right. for a week or a month, but for years to come. And as this journey goes on, as this road goes on, we are going to run into to, to some obstacles. Um, you know, AI is changing so quick, you're going to move very fast, there's going to be a lot of things that happen. You want to be with a company that you know is going to stick through these types of issues with you and is going to take your data privacy very, very seriously. You see, in this space, the data set that you're creating is absolutely your proprietary data. It yep. is your differentiator. Yep. Um, and so you want to make sure that the person holding on to that and working with you on that is not just compliant, but it's also someone that you just really trust. Um, exactly. We do a lot in PII, right? We do a lot in HIPAA. We do a lot in these areas where these aren't areas where you can mess up, right? So it's very, very important to be working with a, with a partner that you know can scale with you, but that really you can trust. Trust, exactly. Uh, these are amazing insights. Uh, Jeff, one more quick question for you. If people want to learn more about the different things that you all are doing in this space, and also if they want to reach out to you, learn more about you know the different things you've been focusing on, where can they reach out? Yeah, look, I'm on LinkedIn, Jeff Mills, uh, iMerit, you'll find me very quickly. Uh, iMerit.net or even iMerit.com will we'll get to our website. You can nice. find most things on there. Uh, you'll find very quickly, we're, we're big in mobility, okay? We're big in med AI, uh, and we're really big in, in what we call high tech, which is our gen AI properties. That's so awesome. So we'd love to talk to uh, any companies at AI4 or um, beyond on uh, how we can uh, help, help partner on a solution uh, for quality and scale. 
We love it. Uh, Jeff, such a pleasure hosting you on the Ravid Show. I can't keep the conversation going. We'll make sure to, you know, obviously have Imerate and the leaders that you all have uh, on the show and learn more about the different things that you all are doing in the space. Thanks once again for taking the time out and doing this. Love it, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us.